So we finished detailing it. Yeah, detailing. It was a good quick cleanup. The seats look a lot better. Carpets and all that are way more cleaned up than they were. Got Sky's helmet in here because we immediately went and raced it just to see how it throws around. It was rainy and dreary and not worth recording a whole race day of, but it was a really good weekend and this thing has some serious potential. We just gotta clean up some body roll. But now that it's more presentable aesthetically, we gotta make it a little better mechanically. Anytime the clutch is out, uh, you can you can hear it. It's mad. Oh man, I haven't heard what that sounds like at a distance. Oh, <laughs> So as soon as you start it. That is amazingly funny. It's pretty chill, no angry noises, but as soon as you let the clutch out. And that's not very cash money. So we're gonna go ahead and drop the transmission on this thing. Are you ready, tiny nerd? Oh yeah, we ready. Nom, 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 nom. And it's gonna be super easy. Uh, transmission's just gonna fall right out. I watched a, a video on it and he had it done in like three minutes. I don't know exactly how to proceed, but we're just gonna start taking stuff apart. Anything that looks like it's in the way of the transmission coming out is coming out. Now, we've never really talked much about it, but you guys have seen us use a bunch of Chemical Guys products around here before. And I'm really proud to say that they finally partnered with us. So whether you already use and love their products, or if you want to give one a shot, I recommend this quick detailer. Pretty great, it smells good for some reason. Use our link in the description and it helps support the channel. So we're gonna start by disabling uh, the battery and electronics because if you're not familiar, for some reason, this is a hybrid and <clears throat> gimme. We have a very large high voltage battery in the back that we don't want to do anything stupid. So go ahead and just Get this battery unhooked and we'll pull that out we also got to disable the hybrid battery in the truck oh it's underneath the spare that we don't need anyway here put that in a trash pile somewhere race car we don't need spares weight reduction weight reduction the 20 pounds right here this is what was holding her back from catching that z06 yesterday i'm still Sorry. impressed somehow sky was able to crack off a 35 in the rain she did it was soggy and she was still putting it down. This thing's got potential for sure. Underneath the spare, this is the hybrid battery. We could probably weight reduce that too, huh? Not today. We're just gonna disable it. Pop this cover off. And there's a light switch. Lights off. Hybrid battery breaker has been thrown, so we should be good to disconnect all of the high voltage shits that are gonna be in the way today. Wouldn't want it to shock you. Here's a 10 mil. Don't lose it. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna give it to the baby. Don't give it to the baby. We'll never see it again. All right. Let's take a bunch of other stuff apart. Nice. That actually doesn't look that bad. It was gonna get a transmission fluid change anyway. Probably go ahead and drain the oil for the f of it. We're gonna let that drain and then we're gonna start finding what bolts are holding the bell housing to the engine. They're a little hidden and compact in here, but it's, it's a Honda. How hard can it be? I found another one under here. Let's find more of them. We've got all the bell housing bolts out, I think. You know, you never truly know these things, but probably nothing else holding the transmission on. And it's starting to form a gap between it and the block. So it's probably about ready to separate. Uh, the only thing we might still run into is if we go to pull it and the subframe is in the way. The tech manual recommends dropping the subframe. But if we drop the subframe, we may as well just get another sway bar, right? We're trying really hard not to project creep here. But while we're in there, there's there's a lot of other stuff that we want to do to this car, you know, to make it handle better and such. The body roll is atrocious. And I don't want to drop the subframe again to do a sway bar later. So we'll see if we have to drop the subframe today. And if we do, we're going to be ordering a sway bar and waiting on that to come in before we put everything back together. But we're trying to avoid that. We don't want to do that right now. But it's mostly a part. 
The axles are all separated from the transmission. I think pretty much everything is out of the way. The engine is being supported by a jack on the oil pan. Time to see if this thing separates. But overall, it's been going really smooth, mostly because it's a Honda and relatively new compared to the shit we're usually working on. And nothing has really been seized up. We've only encountered one bolt that was cross-threaded. It's, it's rather intricate and time-consuming, but not particularly difficult so far. I sure hope we don't run into anything stupid. Let's see. Asshole. There's a throwout bearing that's not obviously like Big Mad. I don't know. We'll figure out how to spin that and verify that this is the mad thing. It'd be really annoying if it was the transmission instead of the throwout bearing, huh? <laughs> it has no fluid in it. It doesn't have fluid in it, so there's a chance that's normal sound. Let's see if we can make this make an angry sound. If you're not familiar, this bearing sits over this, and when you push your clutch pedal in, this leverage is on that. That's what releases the clutch. So hopefully this is what's wrong because this is an $8 part. That's not an $8 transmission. I guess we're gonna have to case swap it. So looking at the new throw out bearing, the new replacement one compared to the one we just pulled out, at first glance, this seems pretty fine, but when you spin it, compared to the new one, fuck you. See, this one is smooth and there's no rattly. Definitely yep. heard that one. I am vaguely concerned about the noises that this is making. <laughs> what is that gremlin doing? <laughs> ah. Hi, goon. I'm trying to do something. Yeah, I mean, this isn't the happiest noises, but I'm gonna try to attribute that mentally to it just not having any fluid in it right now. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna put this all back together with the new bearing and hope that we've fixed the whole problem. It, it wasn't the worst job, but I don't really want to do it again. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> ah, ah. For these, we like to use this uh, Valvoline full synthetic grease. Just gonna dollop it up on all the things that be touching stuff in there without getting too crazy because don't want it to like somehow infect the clutch disc itself, you know. A little dabble there. Boop. Boop, boop. Oh, that's the part that you're gonna touch later when you go to put a bolt back in. You're gonna touch that. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you are. Grab our new bearing. A little dabble there where the contacts are. Put some on the splines too, just for the fuck of it. See, when you push the clutch pedal, this arm pushes that up, which pushes against the fins on the pressure plate, and that's what releases it. Now, a smart person would have also uh, done the clutch and pressure plate while we're in here, but they look fine. The clutch is not slipping and it doesn't need replaced, and we're trying to avoid that project creep and keep this an $8 project instead of 800 so we're gonna leave that clutch in there until it doesn't clutch anymore. <sighs> all right. Back out of the frame. I didn't do anything. You guys did all the work. <sighs> we got it all back together. Everything under the hood is completely back together batteries back in. I flipped the breaker for the hybrid system already. We've got all the axles and suspension back together. We're ready to start it up and see how much we fixed. I'm skeptical that that transmission's not fucked and that we actually fixed all of the noise, but the throwout bearing was at least on its way out. So we did do something. The problem with being optimistic is that it's naive. Go start it. Let's see what we got. What's your bet? 
we're a little skeptical because we were really hoping that this old throwout bearing was going to be more obviously fucked. But it was some manner of bad. So we fixed something today, even if it's still making the angry noise. Start it up, keep the clutch pedal pushed in. You're in neutral. Let the clutch pedal out. Push it back in. Push it back in. Turn it off. That's what we thought would happen. Yeah. After hearing the noise that that input shaft made, we uh, we figured this transmission is toasted. So. <sighs> either replacing or rebuilding this transmission is in its future. It's not doing anything stupid. Like, it still drives and shifts perfectly fine. It just... Growls. It, it just growls. It's It's got an angry noise from what is probably a bearing that's toasted. So we get to do this again. We should be planning, but might as well drive it till it breaks. Exactly. We're going to start looking for a replacement transmission or a rebuild kit for this. I've never opened a transmission, but I guess we'll burn that bridge when we get there. At least we know how to do it now. We know what the actual problem is. We did fix a very minor and negligible problem, and it got new fluid, so. And on that disappointing note, th thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you, if you, if you want to, I guess. If you really hate yourself. <laughs>